Hey YouTube, in this episode I'm building a transom saver for my boat. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a piece of metal that goes from the trailer up to the engine, lets the engine sit down on it so that the trailer absorbs any jolts from the engine when you hit a bump on the road, rather than having the hydraulics that hold the engine up absorb them, which is not a good thing for hydraulics. I've got a lot of jobs on at the moment and as jobs go this one's taken an exceptionally long time to do because I've put it aside to do other jobs in the meantime. I've been delayed by having to work and earn a living. The upshot of it all is that I've lost the beginning of the video by the time I came around to edit it. So we're going to pick the job up part way through. Now I'll just explain what's going on here since we missed the beginning of the video. This is a Cat 1 bottle screw from a tractor hitch that's surplus to requirements. Now it's way too heavy for the job, but I'm going to use it anyway. Because it's available, because it's cheap, it doesn't cost me anything extra, and because it will do the job, even though it's going to be heavier than it needs to be. It certainly won't break under the load, that's for sure. Now because this is all a tractor, it has a bearing on each end to attach one end to the tractor and the other end to whatever you've got on the three-point hitch. I have to cut them off and fit it up so that I can weld some pipes onto it, extend the length a little bit and put some ends on it that are actually useful on a boat. That brings us pretty much up to date with each stage of the project's out now, so at this point we can return to our original build videos to complete the job. Hefty lump of metal I've got to cut off and trim up. So I got the one mil cut off wheel, it's about 30 second of an inch, a little bit over 30 second of an inch, set up to cut with. And of course I got all the safety gear out because by the time I'm finished there's going to be a fair bit of uh, dust flying around in the air. I don't want to breathe it in. A lot of noise being made, don't want to ruin my ears and certainly don't want to cop anything in my eyes. Also just draw your attention to the sea pearl and I've got under the thread and that's just there to protect the table. It's only an old kitchen table that's out here in the workroom to use as a workbench but I don't see any good reason to damage it unnecessarily. I'm going to cut this through here and then I'm going to have to trim these sides down so that I can weld a piece of pipe on the end of it. Why is it your nose always itches once you get all this gear on? I need a rub on this hand too because it's uh, getting a bit hot going back. Now I need to trim these down so I flip a bit of this pipe over it. That should flip down over that now. I need to just round those sharp corners off a little bit and that will be a good fit. I can just hit that in a little bit now and then I can weld that on. Get all the safety gear off so I can talk properly. I can hit that in a little bit now, that's close enough to going in. The metal will stretch that half mil or so that it still needs. And then I can put a weld around him. Then I'll be able to measure it all up and cut it off at the right length. And do that on both ends. And then I'll have the bottle screw I need for adjusting the transom saver. Put him over the leg of the table, a bit of protection on down there, and grab the nearest hammer. And there he is. That's got him in nice and straight there. I'll just get some weld around him. And as I say, all I've got to do then is cut him off at the right length and put a U-shaped piece on it to take the motor. Huh, I had that zoomed in way more than I thought. That's why you need a camera operator. Someone you can actually see. Okay, as you can see there, that's in there nice and straight. It's in there nice and tight. All I've got to do now is put some weld around there to hold it. And because it's a tight fit in there, any weight that goes on it's going to be pushing down 
any sort of weld should be good enough to hold it. It's not like it's going to be under a lot of tension. So I put my safety gear away and then I can see about welding onto that. I'm just using some 332 6013 rod here and see how that goes first. Probably should not have had that spanner there. Got all sparks. And it looks like I need to go over a couple of little areas of that. Majority of it's not too bad. There was one piece there where I probably might have rolled a bit fast or something. Didn't get a lot of weld. And I'll just go over and do a bit more on it. Could be better in places, but I'm sure that'll hold. I'll give her a bit of a grind off and she'll do just nicely. I'm just cutting a bit of scrap angle iron off here. I'm going to use that for the U shape section. I think once it's got some foam rubber in it, it should be fine. If not, it'll be easy enough to weld a couple of uh, sides onto and then it'll certainly be fine. So that's about two and a half inches of six mil. That's all I need. About two and a half, about two and a quarter inches long. It'll fit nicely in between a couple of the sections of the motor. So 55 mils, two and a quarter inches. It is three inches that way, so 75 mils. And it is six mils, so about quarter of an inch. Oh, hang on, is it? No, it's more like five mil. A little bit under quarter of an inch. That should be plenty for it. I could build the whole thing a lot lighter if I went and bought metal, but I'm using up what I've got, so it's going to be a bit heavier than it needs to be. But it'll be plenty strong enough, that's the main thing. Well, this seems like a good place to break and end part one, because life got in the way of finishing this project, and it was a few weeks between this video and the next video when I could get back out here to finish it. I will get the project wrapped up in the next video, in the meantime, if you'd like to see more of my projects, you can go to my YouTube channel or browse to my website. If you got something out of this video, please click on the like button. Until next time.